Uh, welcome this afternoon. My name's Mark Page, uh, DPIB Biosecurity Officer. What we're going to do today or this afternoon is do a, a sugar shake and take you through the processes there. Part of our exotic surveillance for Varroa mite as well as Tropilalaps mite and Brula fly. So a few of the things we need, a beehive active or an active beehive, our smoker of course, hive tool, our PPE and then our sugar shake kit. So basically your jar which we want to get about 250 to 300 bees in we've got our icing mix in there just a little spoon to dish it out I find a bucket with clean water in it is the best way um, if we're on a windy day and things like that our piece of paper often blows away so I've also come up with a little funnel thing to catch my bees to funnel them in otherwise we're again we can use a piece of paper shake our bees onto it and then funnel that to pull the bees in. But as I say, on a windy day that can become a little bit more of a, a painful thing. Holding that down we dust the sugar on and it blows away we've missed the opportunity to see. Okay, so we'll, um, we'll get ready. We'll open this one up. Keep it nice and handy. So our icing mix which has a little bit of corn flour rather than an icing sugar so it'll always stay nice and fluffy so when we want to use it we're not having to attack it with a jackhammer put a spoon there instruction sheet in there so you can always read this again just to check you're on the right track so we'll go into this hive I'll pour some fresh water in there just before I dust the bees off into it um, because often we'll pour in the water and we pick up bits of contaminant and things like that. It makes it a bit harder to visually recognise. A little bit of a puff there. Now we're going to go down into the brood box and take some frames out of the brood cluster area. We're going to have a look for our queen. We don't really want to shake her. That can kind of upset her pheromones and the bees may not take too kindly to her when we reintroduce. So we'll crack this one. These guys have been on a honey flow, so we picked up again from the last time I was here. So that's quite a heavy honey super there. Let me just lay that one out of the way. The bees are behaving quite well. Gently lift that excluder off. Bit of a look for the queen. So we're looking for the brood area bees. More chance that mites would be on bees in that area. The mites breeding through the cells. frame of brood there, so we're going to have a look for our queen. I don't see her on that one, so that'd probably if I captured all those bees that'd give me pretty well 250, but often we don't capture them all. So I'll just have another one ready in case I need some more bees. Again, looking for our queen. happy that she's not there. So, if we do this over the brood area, leave a bit of a gap one side. Oh, we set the container up ready. Put the lid there. 
there. Get back up over this. So a good sharp blow. We lodge most of those bees. There's a little bit of light shake here, so we don't want too much of that. It makes everything very sticky. The light shake is fresh nectar. And that's plenty of bees to funnel in. spoonfuls there. The bees are going to hang up into the onto the mesh so they actually block it going through so you kind of work it through a bit. over a minute. <laughs> now the icing mix basically loosens the grip. The mite has a little kind of pad feet, hangs onto the bees, gripping onto the hairs and things. But with that icing mix, you can see the agitation of the bees, so that would dislodge that mite. About a minute of that. And then we put them aside to rest. So this is a good time if we were doing a brood, which we should be around this time of year doing a brood inspection. Those frames that we've dislodged bees from, we can have a bit of a look at our brood condition and things like that. A little bit of night light nectar in here. When your nice pearlies coming through, tap, our cappings are slightly risen, beautiful, nice tan colour. And we're much the same on that side. So remembering we would go through and do our full brood inspection in full frames with brood on. bees sitting there for a while make sure if it's a hot day and put them in the shady side not in the sun another good roll prepare our water I need a lot of water the clean water a wider opaque bucket easiest way. Rolling the bees again. And then we're just upending. We do call it a sugar shake but we're not shake shake shake. And we dust that off. We do get bits of debris and perhaps a bee was carrying pollen and things like that will show up. It will generally just sink to the bottom. Another roll around. I'm dusting that sugar out. If we're using paper, it's basically the same kind of thing. see the sugar coming back through there. 
people who'd be looking for anything foreign in there in the uh, mite kind of size. Remember if we do need our glasses to see, and that's the one of the last things, I generally don't wear my glasses working the bees unless I'm looking for something particular, but once I've done this, I put this aside and I will grab my specs out when I've finished and have a really good look at that water or a really good look at that paper. And remember if we do find anything in there, number one, keep a sample, that's a big thing, just did a bit of metho. And number two, one 084 881 notify the exotic pest hotline. I'm going to say that this is, so far this hive's are mite free. And so far Australia is, which is great. Become involved in the uh, initiative of Sugar Shake and that protects the bigger part of New South Wales. It's not a given that it would come in through a port, um, so the more people involved in this program, the better off for all of us in protecting an industry and maintaining our clean green image. So once we've done that, this is a great thing about Sugar Shake, we don't harm our bees. And what we return to the colony, we now call ghost bees. They're a little bit agitated, but I think I would be too if I'd been rolled through a heap of icing mix. But they'll clean each other up, so it's a nice sweet treat for the other bees as well. And there we are.